Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Yahweh here. Uh, today's video, I want to share um, a little bit of my experience of using um, iPhone 13 mini as my primary uh, content creating device. So before we got into uh, the main content, I thought it'd be kind of interesting just to dig into my archive of previous um, iPhone I've owned. I actually still have most of them um, with me so yeah this is uh my very first iphone it's the um iphone um what do you call it iphone 3gs yeah so this is my very first iphone that's the case or the packaging and then you open it and there it is still have it with me it's quite beat up i would say but um i do like it um I think at the time there was like the black, this is the black, and then there's also the white option. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, the back is uh, the form factor, this is kind of like rounded. It's actually very comfortable to hold. I, I would say that um, this model or this generation of iPhone is the most uh, ergonomically um, friendly for um, as a handheld device. Yeah, so maybe the screen screen size I think is decent because I find that with this close range uh, of um, consuming or reading anything, um, you don't. Yeah, bigger you get like if you're watching video, um, it's more visually appealing. But then a lot of times I find that with bigger screen, I have to kind of move it further away, um, so it's not too um, overwhelming on my eyes. But yeah, this is the iPhone 3GS, my first, very first iPhone. Um, and then I think the f next one I, I move on to was the iPhone 5. Okay, very sleek. I really, really like this. Um, it's like all black, um, uh, even the the, ca the case or the packaging, and then you open it, and I still have it. Um, I would say this is like one of my favorite, just like the form factor or the form design wise, my favorite iPhone. Very sleek, you can see they don't have the, the rounded back, it's flat, very similar to the current um, iPhone. Um, and I like the finish, the black finish here. This type of finish, it doesn't leave uh, any fingerprint on it, so um, keeps your phone looking really sleek throughout the day. And yeah, that's the side, you have the top. Yeah, very thoughtfully uh, designed. And this is where you still see the home button, but like, I think the bevel on the side here, on either side, is getting smaller um, in this, starting in this generation. But yeah, um, again, <laughs> quite beat up. I don't usually like to have a case on my phone, so over time, you know, this thing does happen. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad, but um, it is what it is, that's fine. And then after that, I think I pass this phone on to my mom. Um, and then so I got another iPhone 5C for myself. Mainly because I find that this line of iPhone was kind of interesting. It was the first time where they um, introduced multiple colors. Like really, really bright, vibrant colors. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. And it's kind of plasticky. So I'll, before this, all of the iPhones are just like metal finish, um, so the feeling or the tactile feeling is quite different. Um, starting with this particular line, this 5C, um, they introduced plastic. Um, yeah, so there are many, many colors. I think like green, there was like the apple green, and then there was like a blue one, yellow, red. Um, yeah, very interesting, but of course, you know, I went either with white or black. I do, I went with the white because I like the, um, 
uh, the black logo on the white phone. So yeah, quite like this one as well. Uh, very sad um, that uh, screen cracked, but um, I didn't drop it. Someone else did. But anyways, and yeah, but this is another iPhone that I still have. The plastic iPhone. I don't know. They, I think they have a name for this particular line. But yeah, I just remember it's like very colorful and very plastic -y. I think. And then I don't have the SE with me anymore. But um, I think after the 5C, I will move on to iPhone SE. But as you can see, this is a 5. Uh, this is the form factor I like. Um, small, compact that I can handle in my in one hand. Um, I can reach across the screen with you know with my thumb. Um, it's very flat. I can put it in my pocket and don't feel um, how bulky it is. Um, so this is something that I primarily look for in a, a mobile device. Um, but shortly after this, the phones were getting bigger uh, because of the screen size and also uh, more advanced camera features um, and also uh, to compensate for all the different things that they have to run on the device, you need a longer battery life. So um, I think after the SC, I move on to 7 Plus because I wanted to have the portrait mode on my camera. And then after that, I move on to um, iPhone XR. And then iPhone 11. I was excited that this year with the 13, they also introduced a mini size. Uh, so I got the 13 mini. Uh, this is in the Midnight Navy. So it's not black. They don't have a black option, but this is close. The closest to black. But I do kind of like like the subtle difference between the black and the blue. Um, yeah, but I just, I miss this. I miss this feeling. Able to uh, handle my mobile device with one hand. Um, I like, love it. Um, it's just so easy to carry this around and I find that I enjoy taking photo and video on it. Uh, more so than, you know, on my bigger phone. I Okay, so now I am actually, what you're seeing right now is film on uh, iPhone 13 mini. Um, one of the camera feature on this is that I find the video feature is um, quite advanced and I can actually use this, pair this with my other uh, cameras when I am out on the street just doing my kind of observation of photography.
in some of the videos I posted. Uh, it's kind of like um, like a POV um, uh, process of how I create my photography work. Um, yeah, so I find that with the iPhone, it's very accessible. Um, I got, I have a Fuji X-S10 which is a great uh, hybrid camera um, to shoot in both video and photos because it's you can easily switch it back and forth and the in-body stabilization and uh, the XS10 is great for walking around and just doing like um, without having to carry a gimbal to to um, take some like really smooth footage um, but I just find that sometimes the switch between video and photo there's just some lag it's not as spontaneous so I either find that uh, it doesn't react fast enough to catch some of the moments I wanted or while I'm switching uh, between the two different modes I missed um, taking the shots I wanted to take so I find that it works a little better or more spontaneous with the iPhone setting um, to switch or like just have like a small device I can handle in my one hand with great image stabilization. I can just quickly uh, take out my phone, shoot videos, and then put it back in my pocket and take a picture um, at the same time. So I just find that this works really, really well uh, with the process that I'm currently um, is working on and uh, creating content. Would you like American or Dijon mustard? Oh, uh, Dijon, please. On both of them? Uh, on both of them. Thank you. see the video quality is actually quite good uh, the coloration the stabilization it works quite well um, so I didn't have to do a lot of the post um, yeah so that's like the main thing that I look for in the, the camera settings um, they also introduce the cinema cinematic mode in camera now um, which comes in handy. Uh, I don't use it as often, but uh, no, sometimes if you just want to create a little bit of that, you know, zooming in and out with different depths, um, it comes in handy. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. Um, and I also like the fact that I can pair it up with my um, Apple Watch so you can see it works really well so I can actually see what uh, the screen composition is like. So right now I'm filming with uh, the back camera um, and then yeah it gives me like an idea of like the framing and all that and I can even like control it uh, if I want to pause and take a photo I can do it on my watch super handy just want to highlight this aspect of it it works for me if it's something that you're looking for i highly recommend it as well that's it for the video today i hope you guys enjoyed it um lastly i just wanted to kind of do a little promotion on recently i select some of the photos from um all the photos I've taken in the past two years and to make them into prints uh, I will share the link in the description below so please feel free to check them out if you're looking for some black and white photos um, to maybe decorate your home or office or uh, you know gift it to someone that you know is interested in photography um, I've selected some of my photos that are um, that I'm really happy with um, and then you can order them um, as prints with frame um, yeah and uh, I think 
were able to ship worldwide and yeah check them out and let me know how you like them um, I hope to do more of that as well maybe I'll try to select some that are that you can just order uh, the prints without the frames so it makes the shipping easier okay that's it for now and I will see you in the next video